Hello everybody, and welcome to another spring of Survive the Sound. So for this year's Survive the Sound, just like every year, you're going to get the link from your teacher. Now I'm checking it on my um, personal, but for the rest of you, it'll be on class announcement in Classcraft. Other teachers might use Google Classroom or email. Click on the link. Now, the first thing you do is look through the fish and select the fish you want. And I want, ooh, Seabert Scientifish. Fish. That sounds cool. But I'm looking for Cyan Fish. That's the one I'm going to pick. Then you have to select your age. Now, if you select an age under 13, you will have a nickname. Write that down. So write down the name of your fish, Cyan Fish from the Duwamish River, sponsored by the Environmental Science Associates. And then write down your nickname, Cyan Fish 60616. Wait, let me write that down. Very important. Go to next. Now, this tells you the whole legal thing. Because if you're under 13, you can't sign up for stuff like this because your privacy has to be protected. So we go to next, and that's it. You are now part of Chimicum Elementary School. And you can see here how the other uh, schools are doing and other organizations. So Ford Middle School has a few more members than we do. So far we've got 31 as of this recording, whereas Ford has 673. All right, they're a little bit ahead of us. You can scroll down through here and see all the other schools and organizations participating this year. Let me move my face out of the way. Then you're going to go to next. Oops. Said, please choose a team. Well, I did. I chose Chimicum. Um, then you're going to go to next. And that's it. It'll say, congratulations, you've joined a team. Chimicum Elementary School. Uh, so it says, get ready to watch your fish migrate. Click the numbers 1 through 5 at the top of the map to change the migration day. Well, Monday, May 1st, we're going to start with day 1. Um, that's the only one that will be available. So we will go from there. It says, use the map to filter to view your fish, all fish, or select the fish you'd like to view. Uh, if you did this last year, you'll remember you can do that. And we're looking for patterns you can see and try to figure out what's causing fish deaths in certain areas. And if you've watched the news, uh, they are working on fixing the Hood Canal problem because that's been a death trap for fish where they get stuck there and confused. They can't find their way through. So seal seals and other animals just hang out there and pick off our, our little fish trying to get out to sea. Uh, well, they're working on that, and, and that solution should be in place soon. So I'm going to go to my dashboard, and that's it. I'm done. There's my team, Chimicum Elementary School. There's my fish. It's 180 millimeters, which is only 18 centimeters, uh, 56 grams. It's a tiny fish, but I view details, and I can see everyone who has signed up so far this year. All right, folks, that's how you select your fish for this year's Survive the Sound. Let's see how well we do. Good luck, Chimicum.